So, hello and welcome, and if you're already not foxified, you will be when 8 o'clock comes. Well, let's fingers crossed you will be. 100% LCFC with Youngie, and as I was absent without leave last week, apparently he missed me so much, he shed a little tear. Please welcome Alan Young. Did you miss me, Al? (laughs) Did you miss me, Al? Do you know, Twiggy, I've got a question for you, son. Did you miss me? When are you having your operation? What for? To get that jacket off. Oh, get lost. Dear it's me. me. It's, it's me. T- it's it's me. Trendy Edinburgh it's, jacket. It's needing a wash. <laughs> right. Anyway, shut up. Phil Holiday uh, Holloway is with us. Who signs all the checks? But sadly, his pen's still got no ink in it, and he's doing a bit of filming. Hi, Twiggy. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? How we never ever get paid for this. Sink is in the house. John Sinclair, who was in charge driving the desk last week, wearing boxing gloves. Well done, and welcome to the show, yeah, Sinky. Got through it somehow, but yeah, welcome. Back. Oh, hang on, say that again. I didn't put uh, your mic. Yes, up. I got through it somehow. Welcome back. Okay. A damn fine performance. I just said. Yeah, I, I just said you're driving the desk with boxing gloves, and then I didn't put your <laughs> mic up. So there you go. Mate, it's always that one. Two Foxes fans with us as well. Please welcome to the show. If we had a fanfare, we'd certainly play it, but we don't. It's Annie and Will Mora. Is it? Is that or is Moira. it Moira? Oh, yeah. Is it Mo- very, Moya. Very, Moya? Moya. 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 Yeah. Moya. That'll do. Anyway, welcome. Thank you. You're Cheers. more than welcome. Thanks right. for asking. So let's. Uh, I didn't. Phil asked you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's nice, isn't it? Thanks, yeah. Phil. <laughs> you have to get this show. It's uh, it's very kind of like tongue in cheek, and then Al gets all irate, right? And, and then he, uh, as he normally does, he, he sits on the fence. I won't get irate today, apart yeah. from when we talk about a referee. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so let's talk about. We weren't here last week, but I, I want to go back to the Palace game. Uh, probably a result that. If if people weren't sitting up and paying attention then, I think they certainly were when the ref blew his final whistle. Well, absolutely. And and to see the reaction of our supporters, Twiggy, they stayed in the ground for about an hour after the game. I know. Singing and dancing and whooping and everything. Absolutely fantastic. A great performance for the lads. A great performance from Danny Drinkwater, especially for the goal. The ball's come out, uh, the, the Palace defence. Danny's played a great one-touch ball straight back in. Straight at Jamie Vardy's feet. He's done his trick. He's gone on his left foot, something that he wouldn't have done a couple of seasons ago. And people, some of the pundits, some of the people commentating him, he said he went for a shot. He <laughs> yeah. never did. He no. never did. He pulled it back for Mares, who put it in. And Riyadh should have scored one earlier from another terrific Danny Drinkwater pass. And I think that was what ultimately got him into the England squad. Do you think Who it he, was? Do you, do you, do you yeah, think that was? I, th- I think that just that just was the flip of the coin for for Hodgson to say, "Yeah, I'm taking him. I'm going to take him and have a look." Will, did you go to the game? Uh, no, I was in uh, Agra. Been to the Taj Mahal that day. Oh, it's, yeah, and, uh, local what I, then. Uh, yeah, local, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what were you doing? Some kitchens or something for the uh, yeah, a bit far flung kitchens. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, um, he's good. And I we, like him. We we watched the game. Uh, we were having a meal. There was eight of us there, all Leicester fans, and uh, actually so, in. At the Taj, uh, at the Taj Mahal, yeah, yeah. We, uh, no, oh, the Taj we, Mahal's we a restaurant. It's not <laughs> yeah. that big castle yeah. thing. <laughs> 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 were you in India or were? You, oh, no, right. I was. I was in India. We've fantastic. Been to Agra, we've been to the Taj Mahal in the day. How uh, fantastic we, is that? I mean, F- Phil's got some photographs of us. Uh, me and my friend sat on the Diana bench. Oh which, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In our blue army. I'm not. I, I wear. The same shirt. I went to Sunderland last year, I hope you're and it. I went to Burnley last year, where you know we had the survival thing going on, and we were given free T-shirts. And uh, you still I it? still wear that shirt mm-hmm. now. I wash it occasionally. How did you find somewhere in India to, to watch the Leicester game? Is it it, it? it was very difficult because on the say at the same time at half past seven started uh, India Pakistan cricket. Yeah. Oh right, in the and World Cup. Of course, we we knew that, but we had, we asked the hotel that if we had a meal in the hotel, it could they sort as a TV mm-hmm. out? So they did, and uh, we were able to watch it, and it was fabulous, and we were excited, and like you say, one nil wins are as as good as, as, as good as anything. You know, the, your defence has got to be on the case, mm-hmm. and they were, you know. Uh, Schmeichel, starting with Schmeichel, there was one moment where I think Balassi got the better of Simpson in that game. And 
uh, uh, Balassi went on, put the ball in. Zaha, I think it was Wilfred Zaha, should have done better on the far post, didn't put the ball wide. And um, couldn't believe you, you then that. see Schmeichel come tearing out of his box, go out of camera view, and you can tell he's, he's going after Riyad at that point because he thinks Riyad should be tracking back and helping Simpson. You know, and and double. You know, on Balassi. Do you know that's that's a subject but, that we've covered before, Twiggy, isn't it? Yeah, it so is. But yeah. do yeah. you ask Rehad to do that job, or do you leave him free mm. to go and get your goal and win you the game? Yeah. Yeah. Can you yeah. bring Annie in because she's? Uh, we we need to welcome you to the show, Annie. Hello. Um. So w- were you at the same place watching? No, no, I wasn't quite as exotic as that. I was down in Portsmouth visiting my. Well, own it's university. close. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not, close. Not far off. I was visiting my university friends. We do a bit of a Six Nations thing every year. So that was on the big screen and I had the Leicester game down on a small Did you really? Screen, but I've got Spurs friends down there, Leicester uh, fans and Newcastle We don't fans talk about stuff, Spurs so on this show. It was a bit tense in there, I'm not going to lie. But when Do we you, sport, just going off, off subject slightly before we bring John in, it, do you really think that Leicester can now do this? I mean, Five I, points clear. Yeah. Well, I've thought it for quite a while. I've got got the faith, but I think especially now, like it's the next couple of games. Don't get me wrong, are very important. Liverpool, um, Spurs have got Liverpool, so that could be the pull away. It's the only maybe. time being an Evertonian. Did you know, as an Evertonian, I thank you very much indeed. I always have to <laughs> cross myself when I say the sacred name. Is it's the only time I want Liverpool to win a game. Mm. I, I I just want them to do Spurs. I, I do think Spurs. everybody does. Train. Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, I've got like my four children are all Liverpool supporters, and they are desperate for Liverpool to beat Spurs. Yeah, Absolutely I'd love it. I, I just really want to do it. You still got the belief, haven't you, Sinky? Uh, absolutely, no reason to, to change. I think uh, you kind of ticking the games off. I think everybody's been doing that. Uh, what seven games to go? Uh, you know, in my job, I come across a lot of uh, Leicester fans in, in the ambulances, and everybody's kind of uh, going with the flow. And and the media coverage has been. Amazing. That Good. doesn't sound quite right, John, if you what don't mind me saying. A lot of Leicester fans <laughs> in the ambulances. What have, no, they, no, been, no. What have <laughs> they been up to? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well it's, not, it's not always. They're not emergencies. You know, they're just people getting to the hospital. Police, but, were the police involved <laughs> or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. But I come across people in that context and. Uh, you, know, you know, everybody's feeling really good about it. Do you know what this show? I love doing this show. I say to my wife, I go home. I say, say, oh, we've done the LCFC show uh, today. I say it's like Alan Young and Sinky. It's like a cat. You know when a cat's got a mouse and it yeah, plays with it for a bit. It's like that. It's I, just, yeah, I'm, just like I'm that. Tom and Jerry and me running I around. Know, yeah, exactly. Youngie, Youngie, we didn't get. Obviously, I wasn't here last week, so I, I've got to bring drag up. The shirt pulling incident oh, well, of Crystal Palace. Absolutely, yeah. Twiggy. I mean, we. I was saying to John last week. I wish you were here. You know, and <laughs> I mean, it wasn't he just pulling a shirt. He, he pulled he his shirt off. off. No, if that's not if that's not a penalty. What was the referee doing? I haven't a scooby. I think he was texting his wife, <laughs> and he <laughs> missed it. He could, have you, missed. could you wash the shirt? Please? But you couldn't have missed it. <laughs> it's impossible to miss. No. It's just so, so obvious. I just I think the rule is ridiculous. I mean, like Annie, you say you were you got the uh, the rugby on as well as watching the the Leicester game. Oh, you see it in I the mean, rugby. Well, yeah, but you don't see all this. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, you do see that physical contact in rugby, but you don't get. For me, the word is cheating because you break. You're deliberately breaking the rules to gain an advantage, and that for me is cheating. And if you do that in golf. You 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 are classed as a cheat, and well, you're out of the shirt off and go. Well, <laughs> I have done that. Yes, <laughs> you know exactly what I, I know mean. what you mean. Twiggy. It's about the holding. I just think they need to have. Well, they probably need. To, do the FIFA, the Football League, need to bring something in just to say to the referees if this happens, it's a pen. I, I, th- I think they do, and they have. There are rules in place. Well, they're, they're not just using not. They're, them. they're not being applied. Um, Having said that, with Robert Huth, I mean, fa- fabulous, fantastic centre back. And what a physique! And, and he has <laughs> he has been guilty on occasions, you know, in the last season and, and of a bit, doing it himself, of, of of being manhandling players and things. So things like that go around and come around. You know, I look at the England game the other night and Rose. You know, one was a nailed on penalty. The Jagielka wasn't a fa- was a foul. 
you know, when Jagielka was taken out. So the Rose one was a penalty. You know, he didn't give the first one when he went crashing through the... the but the fire. referee was a Spanish waiter, for Christ's sake. Well, no, it, 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 I think the, the thing is what they've got to do is train these referees to deal with it better. You know, and, and get say, on top of it. I used to go out with a Spanish girl, and she was a waitress. There's nothing wrong with Spanish Spanish waitress or waitresses. Oh, yeah. Anyway, back to you. Bro. Sorry. <laughs> so just, until just until we get on, that's you know, me sorry, no, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> like I say, I think the rules are there, but they need applying, and that's down to the referees and strength the referee. You know, um, whether you get that these days or not is a different thing. But I think over the season it will level itself out. I believe in karma, and I think it does. Did, you know. Does it frustrate you a bit, John? You know, when you see all these holding and, and that kind of thing in the box. I mean, were they deliberately put their arms around it to stop the the forward? It happens well, in every ground, in every week, yeah. every week. You know, I it don't happens think, everywhere. I don't, think oh, it I, does. I don't think I see that in lower league football no, you do. as much. No, no, you maybe don't see that, much. but you just see something that is just so blatant because the players, players aren't of the same quality. But in every game that goes on every weekend, every weekday, it happens. So are you saying Premier League players are better at holding than uh, than than? Yeah, we seem to have a phase. I can't remember when it was. We seem to have a phase when referees were were kind of blowing their whistle and, and looking for it a little bit. There was more. a brief John was, came it, out it from was. the FA for yeah. them to stand and down it, it on it. A couple to, of seasons it, back, it seemed to be being looked at by refs, and then suddenly we slipped back to where we were before. Don't you think? No, oh, for me. I know Twiggy's on his high horse with this thing, but it's it's all part of the game. It happens all over the place. But pitch. it never used to be. When you were playing, I don't think it was part of the game. Not like it is today, Al. It's not. Aye, John, but, but Twiggy, when we when I played, you had a lace in the ball, for goodness sake. You know, so it was a wee bit different. <laughs> it used to hurt as well. <laughs> well especially <laughs> when, you had it especially when you got it right <laughs> in your forehead. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I'm it's only it's a different game. It's a it's different game now. It is The stakes are so high. It was a tough game. In you know, your winning. Game, winning is everything. Losing is nothing. You, you can't I mean, afford to keep losing. Got to keep I think winning. it's more of a non-contact sport, but it's becoming that now. Where is, if there's any kind of contact or a lunge or anything like that, towards it, 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 it it's a yellow, it's a... It, it's, it's not when well, you Well, tell play, me about the Spanish referee. If you're talking about contact with that, that one with... J- Jagielka against Holland I didn't see the game I can't bear to no, watch I can't most, bear to watch international football well the most drives the me most blatant I watch I watch the goals but I can't watch it we'll come on to that right. we'll come on to that what we'll do we'll have a little break you can have a cup of tea we'll calm everybody down a little bit it's hot in here with it's all us isn't it it's warm oh, yeah Body eight. so uh, <laughs> yeah go and put the kettle on and we'll be back and we'll discuss the England game then we'll move on to the Saints Oak FM 100% LCFC with Young Gay in association with Peter Pizzeria. 